Today on DIY Willie, we're inside my 2011 Chevy Silverado. Um, I've got a few projects I want to do to it. Uh, just recently put a new head unit in it. I should have filmed it. I didn't. I figured there's enough install videos about that head unit. Um, I do have some speakers and stuff I want to put in. And I, I, might, I might film that. But for today, I have a broken console latch. I guess it's a common failure for these trucks. Uh, it's a plastic piece and the plastic flexes or, or yeah, basically the plastic flexes to latch and unlatch the center console. So uh, it's a fairly simple piece to replace. And uh, I figured I would do that. So here's the old piece. You can see where it broke on the tabs. And here's the new piece. I picked this up on Amazon. Uh, center console lid latch repair kit. Should be all I need. It's basically just the new piece. Um, it's a bit smoother. Really, it doesn't have the same textures that the, the original Chevy piece has. But in all, it seems to be a pretty decent piece. Now, I wanted to... Uh, do some real DIY and find a way to fix this one but <laughs> honestly this is so cheap I think I picked it up for like eight bucks or something I don't remember so yeah let's get on it so to take it off I'm gonna use my uh, quarter inch drive ratchet it's a it's a Torx and the Torx on the console are T20 it's a rather small one uh, Fairly easy and simple to work with, and uh, let's get to it. On the bottom here, we have four Torx. One here, one over there, on the bottom, and here. So uh, we just take those four out. The top piece and the bottom piece should separate, and we're going to see the piece that we're going to replace right in the middle. supposed to be just those two hmm, we'll get back to that okay so I took my little trim tool here and I went around the edges like this and pried it loose I can, as you can see it's coming off comes down it's got these little clips that you can see every so often you know here here and here and they go here and here in the different places around there they take a little bit to uh, get them released but when they do it i mean it's easy so this is what we're going to take out and that seems to be phillips and can you believe i didn't bring a phillips with me i'll have to go get a phillips i thought it would all be Torx. so uh i'll break here and i'll go get a phillips okay so i've got the phillips we'll get the two screws out So we can exchange and replace that part. I could have made something probably out of metal that would have worked and lasted longer. Okay. So here's the old part. Here's the new part. It's got some little alignment pins on it as it sits up in there. We'll just get it installed. I wanted to say when you take this off it is pretty hard it doesn't want to come off easy and these things are known to have uh, dried and brittle plastic so it's kind of scary when you uh, go to take them off but if it does come off without breaking this is a really easy fix there we go just like that and we'll put this piece back up in there snap it all back together there we go and we'll put the torques back in 
And I don't want to put a lot of force on these. The plastic, like I say, is really brittle. But just a simple screw in. If I'd have found my handle, it would have been perfect. But the extension like this is working just as well. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on these. There we go. Let's get my registration back in so I don't lose it. And uh, yeah, there it is. Latch back down. Now I can open this without it dumping everything. It unlatches, it's a little bit stiff, but hey, serves its purpose, it works. So uh, yeah, another DIY Willy project successfully completed. And uh, we're going on to the next one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a very simple thing to do. Uh, these parts, you know, are just plastic and they uh they hook up like this you know they're just just a plastic point where it's a, and that plastic is only gonna last so long you know before it gets brittle and snaps so uh <laughs> i was really gonna look at making something out of sheet metal or something that would probably work better i might even steal i might keep these parts and see what i could do but uh the part i used like I said, I got it on Amazon. There's a the part number. And uh, I hope you get something from it. Maybe you can do your own install. Uh, message me, give, write me a comment, something if there's uh, more information or maybe something else that you would like to know about it. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, I, like, I have many more projects going on this truck and I hope you'll come back to see them.